Well, it's great to be back on, Sarah. Thanks for having me. I think the corporate bond market has been picking up on a number of cues that macro markets have been picking up on since we got the CPI data at the beginning of this month. And I think what the market's telling us is that they feel good about the Fed having a really strong handle on inflation and that they have the strength to be able to take the battle and win it. What that's allowed to happen is that as rate volatility has subsided, we've started to see a reliquification of the, of the lower risk markets like investment grade corporate credit. We saw almost $50 billion of supply price out last week. That's the busiest week that we've had in our market for about three months, another almost $15 billion today. And so I would say overall, the market's sending some, some nice positive signals here that hopefully the Fed can affirm when we hear from them later this week. So it's a pretty cheerful assessment from a, from, a, from a credit person, which you don't always get. And I think also Johnny helps explain why we've seen stocks rally in the last few weeks. The question is, 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 that, is that right? So even if the Fed comes out 75 basis points as expected, they're still talking tough on inflation. And, and I'm not sure that people think the ramifications in a recession has fully been priced in. So I would agree with that, and I think that actually speaks to a lot of the advice that we're giving to a number of our issuers who are considering looking at the market in the forthcoming window post-earnings. Uh, and that is, is that the window that we have right now, it could be fleeting. Uh, we think now that inflation probably peaked at the earlier part of this month. We'll get more data as we get into next month. That may challenge that. If it does, then we'll reprice where the terminal rate is. We'll reprice the number of hikes that we think that we'll get from the Fed. And we'll get another bout of rate volatility, which will damage uh, a lot of the capital markets activity that we've seen. If we don't get that, then I feel good about the liquefaction we're seeing in investment grade flowing through into other riskier markets and, and buoying us in terms of capital markets activity through year end. Well, part of the thesis is that the Fed's going to start cutting, right, in the, ne in the next few months. It's not just going to be a pause. It's going to be a total pivot where, the, where they would actually ease policy because they overdid it on the economy. Is, is that something you're seeing in the markets? And how likely is that? So we certainly see it in the market. Uh, I think both the Goldman Sachs forecast as well as the market expects the Fed rate to peak at year end at three and a quarter to three and a half percent. If you look at the Goldman Sachs forecasts, we think Fed funds stays flat through 23, 24 and 25. The market's actually looking for about 50 basis points of cuts throughout 2023. I personally think that's very unlikely. I think the Fed will get to that point. And if they've won the battle against inflation, I think they'll still be fearful of any resurgence because of how close it is in the rearview mirror and therefore will keep policy tight until they're really, really confident that inflation has gone away. So you think the market upshot is a little too enthusiastic right now and, and you sounds like you'd be cautious on stocks and corporate credit? So I'm not sure about direction of the market overall, although I will say from, from a corporate credit perspective, I think one of the bigger challenges that investment grade will face is more technical in nature as opposed to fundamental. Like we're seeing a lot of capital leave the system. We've had a string, I think, of 17 consecutive outflows from mutual funds, and supply continues to want to run at a decent clip. So I think just from a technical perspective, we're likely to widen modestly into year end. Look, whether or not we get policy easing as we get into next year, I kind of think it's a little secondary at this point. I think what the market really wants to see is that the Fed absolutely mm -hmm. is going to take and win that battle over inflation. We'll have to look at conditions then. We'll have to look at what the macro backdrop, employment growth, et cetera, looks like in 23 before really, I think, having a view as to what the outlook for 23 and beyond looks like. But for now, I think that the back end of this year, uh, I would expect a more robust level of capital markets activity for sure. Johnny Fine, thank you for helping us pregame the Fed decision. The signals from the bond market. Appreciate it. From Goldman Sachs. Thank you for having me.